<laughs> what was that? <laughs> Detail technician. We replaced Natalia <laughs> yes, with the tow bro. Today. <laughs> so today is the day Natalia finally gets a break from yes. treating everyone and spoiling everyone and she is going to be getting her first pedicure here at Nails by Tobro. Unfortunately, we're shut down all over again yes. because of COVID. So Peel Toronto has been locked down completely so all personal services are unfortunately closed so what better way to spend a day in, in a rainy day in an empty nail salon than to do each other's nails yes. I'm so nervous too why are you so nervous I'm so ticklish well I'm really ticklish and you did a really good job so hopefully I'm not rough and tough with your feet but you treated me to a pedicure yes. and now it is your yeah. turn <laughs> So I'm very excited. I've never done a pedicure like this before. I've never done nail polish nail application. Po um, they told me to avoid some difficult colors, but I think we should. You should give me the hardest color there is, which is what? Red. Okay, <laughs> it's your funeral. <laughs> so for everyone watching, you know, it'd be it'd mean a lot if you can subscribe to the Nails by Tobro channel. It is a growing business, it's a new business, and especially with a time like this, we appreciate all the support, all the comments, all the likes. So for all those toes out there who are subscribed to Tobro, just go to the other channel, links in the description, subscribe, like, comment, watch Natalia do her thing. You're gonna watch a lot of fun videos like this, and I think when we open back up, the goal is to do a lot of transformation videos. So a lot of patients that come on our side, on the foot clinic side, come over here, become clients, and then get spoiled and really get that beautiful aesthetic look as well as being in a safe, clean, hygienic environment. So what are you looking at anyways? Looking at our Dazzle Dry book. Okay, and what's special about Dazzle Dry? It's non-toxic, it's hyperallergenic, and it's great for people who have skin sensitivity and it air dries in five minutes, which is still blows my mind. Does that mean I have to work really fast? No, not really. Okay. Yeah. So it's still, it's pretty, pretty good consistency yep. where you can kind of take your time, but that means nothing to good me. Good luck. <laughs> we will find out. So you get to pick a color. I'll let you choose. I know. But first, we got our <laughs> liner in there. Yes. And what's special about this liner? Oh, for me. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're helping me out a little bit. It's disposable and we have the air straw that are linked into our air jet system, which creates those air bubbles. So there's no internal plumbing, there's no recycling of that water, of the same water through those pipes, which a lot of the times that's where the bacteria kind of sits, is through pipes. Uh, mm -hmm. But here we don't have that. And then once we pop the bag, the water drains out and then it never comes back through any pipes. I know, so it's really, really nice. So it's really nice. Yeah, it's a really nice chair. So, how are your feet? How would you rate your feet? <laughs> Out of one to ten, ten being amazing and one being. I think not... they're like a seven or eight. Oh. I haven't, I haven't done my toes since the last video. Okay, I did. so let's <laughs> let's take a look. Well, you actually had something happen to you. Um, you mean I gotta take off the nail polish too? Oh, they're so ugly. No, we're gonna. You're already putting me through work. So let's see how these feet are. <gasps> I missed a hair. Is there some toe hair? I, I can I can trim it off. They're I so see bad. some peeling skin. Oh yeah. Does this mean I have to do cuticle work? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see the bottom of the foot. We'll put the foot nice and straight. Let's see if you got some heavy callus. You don't have that bad. No, but, but I, I think I have, I don't know which side. I stabbed myself with a, with a toothpick. <laughs> I was walking and I, a toothpick jabbed into my foot. <laughs> well, overall, these look like pretty good feet. You have basic wear and tear callus. But today, no scalpel on the foot, so I'm going to be using the same tools you do yep. to do the pedicure. So I'm very excited to see how that works. I helped create the, the protocols and standards of practice, oh, yeah. but it's been so long since I've looked at them that you're going to help me on. I was going to start just like this, and you're just like, where's your gown? Where's your gown? That's right. Where's your shield? That's right. So let me get suited up, and let's get to this. Take off the shield, it's gonna be hard to put the gown over. Okay, so is that the trick? Yeah. <laughs> I've never put this one on. You guys got nice ones on this side. I got like... Yep. <laughs> okay. Wow, look at that. That is very nice. I feel like a superhero. <laughs> How do you like wearing this? 
I don't mind it. It's actually very comfortable. Oh, you're tying it in the fries. I'm tying in the fries. <laughs> just, to show, just show off the waist, that's all. Fashion. Okay, I'm suited up. So now what you have to do is you have to take off the gloves and then put the gloves over that little part. Okay, so I'll take this off. Yeah. And then put or just the take Yeah, just take the thumb part off and yeah. then feed the... Yeah, there you go. So then that way, it's there's... covered. Yeah, no water is going to get up the sleeves. I'm very nervous. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> because... So actually, we get time today. I usually have 15 to 20 minutes to do a foot care service. Oh, yeah. Today we got <laughs> a lot, a lot, a of, lot time. of time. Okay, so there is... Yes, so you're just gonna missing. unfold. Yes. Yep. Perfect. Okay, so first thing you do <laughs> is I think you start the water. I do. Okay, so let me. And how would you like your water? Um, hot. Okay, hot. Ah, uh, my toe hair. The clip you, you like it really hot? Ah, <laughs> uh, not too hot. This is pretty hot. Okay. You can warm it or put it cool. Is and then you're gonna take the photo expert foot soak and just do like the littlest. Okay, that's good. Is that a lot? <laughs> it might be. Bubbles might form. And then you're gonna press the button on the side to turn the air bubbles on. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> to be on that side, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just like playing with the bubbles now. Oh yeah, not the bubbles. Okay. Um, do you have nail polish? Do you use acetone to remove the nail polish? Removed? Yes. So the acetone is in the corner, right there. Do you use God? Yep. I feel really lost. This is not my space whatsoever. You're just gonna soak it and then, yeah. Oh. That comes off pretty yeah, easy. it does, it does. Oh god, what's under there? Okay, we're good. <laughs> you got good feet, you got good toes. No uh, ingrown toenail surgery today. That's fantastic. Now, I trim toenails super yeah, short. Yeah, you do. <laughs> like, yes. So today I'm gonna try a different style. Oh my god, the water's bubbling over. <laughs> I'm too slow. So we're gonna turn off the... Yeah, okay. there we go. <laughs> Don't want that water bill to be super high. Now I can see you had some buffing done. Yes. Now, I'll be preparing the nails, correct? Oh yeah. So I do have to... I'll be smoothing them out? Yes. It's pretty easy to take off, right? The dazzle dry is really good. And this is dazzle dry. Yeah, that was dazzle dry. I and had that for quite oh my. My toes are so long. <laughs> these aren't toes, these are fingers. They're toenails. <laughs> okay. <laughs> these are fingers. <laughs> so normally, like if you have gel, you can't just do this, can you? No. You would have to take a ceramic bit and then drill it off, or we can soak it with acetone as well. Okay, next step. <laughs> Next step is I'm gonna place my feet into the water. Woo! Is it very hot? A little bit. Do you want more? <laughs> yeah, cool. You said you liked it hot. I did. You know why? Because my feet are cold, so as soon as I put it in, I'm like, ooh. Okay, so your feet are soaking. Yep. Took off the nail polish. Yes. What is the first step? So now you're going to unwrap all of your instruments. Even this one here? Yeah. First? So you're taking it all out? Yes. So and this then is you kind of align it on the tray. Gotcha. So you set up the tray. So this is where you do your spiel. Yep. About... <laughs> you see these bags? This means everything's been sterilized. <laughs> so what's amazing here is like... We give this whole little thing afterwards, right? Yes. We even have our nail brush that has the logo on it, yeah. which is really, really nice. Um, most people just use, reuse that in most places, right? Yeah. But here we give it to the client. Uh, we have all the nice autoclave, the instrument washer, 
they'll be able to package, sterilize everything really nice here. And those are your little bits. This is where we use that sand the cap. Yeah. And these are for the cuticle work, huh? Yes. This is not what I'm used to, this one. I'm gonna see how that is. <laughs> so you actually just open everything up? I do. It's a lot of packaging. It is. <laughs> it's fun, I like to un unpackage it. It's like Christmas. So it's Christmas every day for you. It is. So fun. It's like satisfying to feel the, the noise of the bag. Okay. So all the tools have been set up. Yes. So now you're going to take my first foot out. Yes. And you're going to take the towel and... This towel? Like, this one? Yeah. And just softly pat down here. So mad about this. <laughs> really and you got a lot of dead skin I around. I do. So I don't know. Okay, so I kind of ripped. You did? <laughs> I yes. I did. I did rip. And then it was bugging me on the side, so I rounded it off. And then I don't know why it keeps just building up. So at this stage, now that you've put some soaking a little bit, what's the first step? You're going to trim my coconut. Okay. I know how to do this. Yes, yeah, so... Are you been using this lately? Yeah. And how's it been? Pretty good. How about those other ones that we tried out? That I... the, the those demo? Those are good as well. Yeah? Don't know where they... <laughs> okay. So for me, I don't like them too short. Are, are you trying to say, don't cut them how I normally do it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you relax your foot. Let me get this a little bit. There we go. Do you want to just, um... <laughs> I can't... I can't believe I missed that one. Amazing. No one will know you had that long till here. So I'm used to cutting them very short, but you don't want that. No. And we like to keep them nice and straight. Are you saying I don't? You just hack them. <laughs> I already think I went too short. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> What'd you do with these? You just let it fall on the floor? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's how I normally would cut them. Okay. But you want them a little longer than that? Yeah. What? It's like they didn't even cut them. Oh my gosh, so you barely cut anything. That's that's quite a bit of cutting. This? Yeah, you did yeah. I like to leave some free edge. But every client is different. Some like it really, really short, some like it. Long. I love how you said sh sh long and I keep trimming more. I know. Because it's just, uh, it is so long for me. Okay, then I'll follow that. So, are you a lefty or a righty? I'm a righty. And have you been using both? No. Hands? No. You should. I know. It's such... It's hard, I can't, I can't do anything with my left hand. <laughs> So I usually go on one side, cut one foot, or one side, and then I go with the other hand and cut the other. That is very short. <laughs> <laughs> that, is not, that is not leaving it long at all. So like, if you have a nail like this, would you even cut it at all? Yeah, I would still cut it. Okay. That one I cut shorter than my other. There, there's not much more than that, is there? As I keep finding more. Because the problem is people come to see me and they don't want to see me again. So I have to cut it really short. Yes. Now, do you get paint on the side here? No. It's very tight though. Yeah. You you really trim down. Now, how do you like the length of this one? Um, A little can, bit? We can, yeah. Sure. And it's funny because now you're really judging my skills. No. You are. That's okay. I, I can take the criticism. Yeah, that's good. What? Okay, I was just trying to go straight across to make it like straighter. Oops, <laughs> I took too much there. <laughs> I just screwed that one up. Does that hurt? No. Nope. This is not a very straight cut. Like a hill. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, that's that, that Now works. what? Okay, so now you're gonna take the hand file. 
This one? Okay, so there's a myth that everyone says that you should go only one direction. Yes. But you can actually file both directions with light. Um, as long as it's not rough. As long as it's not rough, you can go both ways. I don't like this feeling. <laughs> Very gentle, you can go back and forth. If you're gentle. Yes. And if you're not gentle? If you're not, then it could cause ripping and tearing to the nail which is why everyone says to go one direction, but if you have a light, gentle touch, you can go both ways. So you wanna make sure that the nails are nice and straight across, and then you round off those edges. I like this part. You normally don't shape the nails I after. do not. Yeah, so you just I let cut people them and then... Look at their hacked up nails. So this is very different. I think I did a really nice rounded curve on this. And I did chip it up pretty good at the end. I'm gonna buff that out. <laughs> Are you supposed to do that? Yeah, you can. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's this one. It's like a semicircle there, okay. <laughs> we'll try the next one square. Oh, are we trying to do square? Yeah. Oh, I like the rounded look. So you're getting the, the kind of semi-round look today. People don't get what they want when they come here with me. Normally they, we like to keep them square to prevent ingrowth. But as long as I'm rounded, and I'm as okay. As long as it's rounded at the very edge, then it's good. Now Not everyone likes them rounded. <laughs> that's too square. Square's boring. Squoval. Remember? Oh yes, yes. What's the story behind that squoval shape? <laughs> Mr. Square met Mrs. Oval and named a, and had a baby named Squoval. There you go. Does this feel weird? No. I'm actually surprised. I'm not like laughing right now. I'm not so close, but as soon as you work on the bottom, I can't. I may hurt you. <laughs> this is very tough to make it look pretty. Yes. I, I really am not liking this. This is way too much work and effort. You are very good to, to do this. But it's funny because you do this every day, it becomes normal to you, right? It does. That was not very good. Okay, I did squabbles. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is yeah. like so off and crooked, but it's... Uh, I think it's just... Maybe maybe around this side oh. and it won't look as... Oh, I can see from the top. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> that is so hard. I really have never ever really cut a nail really thinking too much about shape like this the today. Shape and the look yes. Of it. I think that's a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Complete. Amazing. Normally I would go in and do the cuticle work, but yep. we're gonna swap it just because this one has been in there a, a long time. Okay. A lot. And then we'll take the towel. Okay. Uh, this one. Okay, but I have to keep them even. I can't do one. No, really... yeah, we have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to. Okay, but this, so what's funny, how would you, would you trim this one a little short, right to the edge of the skin, right? Yeah. Just a little shorter? Yeah. But you're not going to trim any shorter, you wouldn't no. trim any shorter, it's no. perfect. Okay, I, I, I'm the, I agree. So go across. Well, one of my teachers told me in school, if you can learn how to cut with both hands, it'd make life so much easier. easier. Yeah, so I force myself just to do it. And it's so much better. Where I leave this piece? I'm cutting, I know, don't look, don't worry. Just to where the edge of the nail yeah. meets the edge of the skin. I'm not gonna go shorter than right there. As this I go down on that one. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I know that amazing. That's not a real amazing. That's a fake amazing. No. Yeah, those ones are long. Yeah, so again, I would trim them. Basically, for me, anything that's white, I take off. You take off? Yes. But we'll go straight across. And remember, I've never done a pedicure before. This is literally my yeah. first time. 
You're doing well. Uh, you're a good liar. <laughs> we'll see the painting. I can't wait for that. <laughs> but very different trimming with a different style nail nipper. That's for sure. Is it? Yeah. What do you like about these ones? Or do you not like these ones? Um, I feel like, yeah, you can take little pieces. Mm -hmm. You can be a little bit more exact. I just wish the handle was a little bigger. Bigger? I think. so used to. Yes. Am I doing okay? Yeah. I can tell you this foot looks better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to use right, your tips. The trial. The trial run. And you, I actually see, sometimes you correct a lot with the nail file. I do. Yeah, I just want to take anything that's white completely <laughs> off, but I'm trying not to. Would you say that's short? For me, yeah. What? I, yeah, I like to have them um, a little bit longer. Why is that? Just preference. I just like how it makes the nail look, look like, like a tone. full nail. Yeah. But you see how I'm using both hands? Yeah. It will make your life easier. As I keep trimming your nails shorter, as you said, you like it long. <laughs> uh, you got a good full baby toenail. I do. A lot of people got no baby toenail. And why is that? Uh, from pressure and the way your foot keeps pressing. Yes, in the shoe. I think I did a much better job. Yeah. I am right. very messy on this though. I'm not very good keeping a clean space. So now I do, I basically, I'm trying to make it square. Yeah, and you can always tuck your file underneath the nail. Like yeah, this? Yeah. Oh, how does that feel though? It doesn't, it doesn't. Are you sure? Yeah. You have a light touch and the file isn't, um, doesn't have a lot of grit to it. So it's a pretty soft file, so you can't really cut the client. No? I feel as you say that I was gonna cut you, so. I'm very scared to go around the corner. I don't Why? Know, I don't know how you get in there. I think this foot's looking much better. Uh -huh. Now, how many people, I think was it mostly men would say after you cut the nails, they want it shorter? Or no one really complains? No. Really. Do you ask well, them how long they want their I nails? I do. And what do most people say? Uh, as short as possible. And so do but you go short? for me, as short as possible is different from what they say, and then I just educate them why we can't cut them past the, the tip of the side. I agree. I, I wouldn't want to go lower than that. Yeah. Okay, how is this foot? What, did I, what am I missing? You're looking at it really hard. The the big toe, just straighten it a little bit. Um. <laughs> just a little bit. Again, do I have a light touch? Yeah, you do. You're right. I can barely feel it. Which is good because I'm surprised I'm not like dying of laughter. <laughs> because my job is not funny. It is horrible. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to switch your feet. Yes. Now we're going to switch your feet. I'm going to put this back over here. Now? We're going to apply some cuticle remover. <gasps> the CNG cuticle away. This one? You're going to put a dab on each finger. Each Toe? Nail. <laughs> each finger. <laughs> so that's going to soften up the cuticle, which is on top of the nail plate. And then? Now you can kind of rub it around the nail. Jelly on the toes. <laughs> oh, this is very sick of it. <laughs> now you're going to take the cuticle pusher. I have never used this in my life. <laughs> yep. And you're going to push the cuticles back. What? <laughs> <laughs> how do I know how far to push? You're just going to... Yep. What's this gut coming off? That's the cuticle. Ew. <laughs> really? Yeah. So a lot of the times people think the border where you're pushing to yeah. is the cuticle, which it isn't. That's the border which for protection. I really thought. 
So all that white stuff that's on the cuticle, that's the cuticle. That's now, over. how much do I push back? Like, because I know we don't want to lift or damage the cuticle. No, yeah, so that's good. Just like that? Yeah. I'm a, a cuticle pusher pro. You are. There's a lot of gut coming off. Thank you. You're full of cuticles. I'm full of, well, I haven't had a pedicure since the last video we recorded. Or for mine. I think it was like two months ago. Now, what do you do with these little nails when there's like not a lot of room for the cuticle pusher? You can always flip it to the other side. Yeah, and, and just use, use the blade. That, yeah, use the blade to push it back. But what I also like to do is take a little piece of gauze yeah. and then remove the gut as you're working. Just so that people don't... <laughs> See it? See as much. I want you to see all your guts. Oh yeah. I don't want to hide it. Love it. I want you to know what you're full of. <laughs> full of cuticle gut. <laughs> Does this hurt? No. Does this feel nice? Yeah. And now I see you sometimes use like the blade. Yeah. And I go around. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. And this is just to get the rest. There's still a lot here. Oh, there it is. I am not skilled for this. Oh, there's more. There's a lot on here. Oh yeah. Now, do you try to form a shape of the cuticle when you're pushing it like that, or? No. You just, just whatever's coming. Back, yeah. yeah. You okay in the chair? Oh yeah. Now I want to go up close and personal. <laughs> I'm just getting all this guck off. Mm -hmm. Does this damage the nail? No. It has a, a little bit of a sharp edge. Like I can feel it scrape, scrape. Mm -hmm. Which is good too because sometimes people's cuticles are so attached to the nail plate, it's hard to remove. But with the cuticle away and that pusher, actually my favorite pusher is the angled one. I know, I was looking for it. <laughs> and that one really, really does its work. How do you know if you missed something? Um, you would still be able to see it on the nail plate, but because we're going in with the Dremel after to remove the rest of the cuticle, then that's fine. How'd I do? Good. Was I very gentle though? Yeah, you were. <laughs> okay, so you think there's more on there? Yeah, that's good. And now you're gonna take the angled um, little scooper. <gasps> this like, one? Yeah. yeah. And you're gonna go and remove what's underneath the nail. And then check oh, the side walls. Oh, this is one that people like. Yes. Okay, I like this one too. I'm just checking your side walls. Yeah. See, and there's so much stuff on the side and you just wipe it off afterwards. This tool is very cool. It is. I love it because you can really get everything out. That, <laughs> that hurt? hurt. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just trying to get all your dead skin out. And you really picked a lot along the side. <laughs> I did, yeah. Uh, do you do one side first since one side of the stick is for your lefties or one on the left side and one for the right? Or no, I, I constantly just go back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> just switching? And then you have to get under the nail as well. Yeah. I am not working in one direction. <laughs> I'm just choosing whatever nail. One side than the other. Yeah. Your toes are very clean. That's good. They better be. They better. I was just gonna say, I'm hoping they are. <laughs> they should be. Okay, so back to step one, which is uh, the towel. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> I am missing my steps. That's good. Would you hire me? No. Okay, I can see it in your eyes. That's okay. Yes, I would. <laughs> More practice. <laughs> I mean, as your first time, this is actually really good. You're a very good liar, like I said. You're, you're very, very nice. 
but I do very good cuticle. I'm trying to keep my job. I do very good. <laughs> I do very good cuticle yeah, remover do. application. Oh, yeah. It's perfectly on the nail. Oh yeah, Amazing. And I do very good cuticle massage. <laughs> How long do you have to wait for that to really kick in, or is it just working already? It works already. Okay, so grab my cuticle. So we're just gonna lightly push back your cuticle. And it's not the border that everyone thinks, it's just the overlying dead skin. Yes. Correct? Yes. I swear I still don't know what I'm taking off, if it was like prior product on your nail, or is that all really the cuticle? That's all really the cuticle. Now, I guess some people can be very aggressive and actually hurt the client, right? If yes. they push back too much? If you push back too much, you can cause potential opening for bacteria. So then you just literally just lightly push against it, huh? I do, yes. Do you push first and then use a little blade after? I do. So I'm following your way? Yeah. Okay. Again, I've had to watch your videos I... on YouTube, so <laughs> I've... At least I've been able to watch. Learn. <laughs> it is going to be red? It's, it's a red. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. I like 141 perfect for Christmas perfect for Christmas or just to really make me look bad or both, <laughs> both. okay you said you wanted a hard color this I did somewhat I think this is fun actually that I'm having, is fun I'm having fun doing this yeah you really remove lots of cuticle build up yeah I'm really focused right now I'm just focusing on trying to get as much of this. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. Yeah. We'll see your painting skills. <laughs> Whoa, I did that baby one good. Nice. Okay, next. We're just gonna clean your side walls. And underneath the nail. And underneath the nail. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know you like this stuff. I do, it's actually so sad. I, actually, this does feel good. I remember when you did it for me. It feels nice. It does. Now, and if there's a lot of buildup, people feel relieved afterwards. No, I think people say it for you because you, you also have a very light touch. <laughs> um, but for us, it doesn't feel like it's light, correct? Yeah but it's always better to have a, a light touch. Yeah, it is. So I can see the edge of your nail very clearly. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about you having any sort of ingrown and then clean underneath the nail. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Like you said, that left, right foot is the practice yeah. one and then... <laughs> and then this one is like the glow up. Do you like this tool? Yeah. Again, it's the timing that's huge, right? Yeah. It's just, and the soaking. It is. We don't have the facilities in the foot clinic to soak every yeah. client and have it done hygienically. It takes a lot of work to bring a bucket to fill it with water yeah. and then empty it and. The cleanup afterwards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I can see why this would be so helpful and using like a callus softener or mm -hmm. cuticle softener, get all the dead skin yeah. off the side. Okay. So cleaned up both nice. cuticles. You remember to pat my... I'm patting your foot with <laughs> lots of love. So now we're going to take the tapered bit. Uh-oh, drill work. <laughs> you lift it a lot there. <laughs> gotcha. I can see it on the side where it's really coming off. Yeah. Let me know if anything hurts, because... Oh, you'll know. <laughs> Now the problem is I can see from all the videos I have been watching, if you really don't push it high enough, then it's hard to get in. Yeah. So I didn't really push this one back a lot. So what does that mean? So now you can go back in with your cuticle pusher and push it further back. Oh my God, it's gonna be a lot of work. Yeah, the rest are good, this one. Yeah, you just very lightly push it back. I don't feel a thing. Because it's already soft. But I did know that. Yeah, you did. I did. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I saw you flinch. Because <laughs> it's tickled. <laughs> okay. Now I'll switch direction. Yes, and now you'll go to the other side. 
It's hard going the other way. It is. Okay. Now what? Perfect. So now you're gonna switch into the bald net one. On top of the skin? On or top the of the skin. Just to polish it off. Does that hurt? Nope. Okay, let me check the hang. Are you sure this doesn't hurt? Oh no, it doesn't hurt. This one's okay, but I'll still... Doesn't hurt? Nope. Put more pressure. Okay, <laughs> so now it's the same thing with the drill bit, right? Yep. Okay. It's so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna hold your foot so it doesn't move through. Is that where you stepped on a toothpick? Is it dark there? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm just torturing you. Now, how do you find this sand cap works? Oh, it's pretty good. It really busts down. <laughs> Hard skin, don't go in the middle. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hold your foot, we're gonna go this way. Oh, you got a lot on this oh, one. Oh, I do! <laughs> no, you're doing a good job. I'm just torturing you. Well, that is nice and smooth now. Do you ever use this technique of the death grip to hold onto their foot? Oh, yeah. Woo! There's lots. Yeah, it does a very good job, actually. Very good. <laughs> okay, you relax your foot for one second. I'm gonna do a little bit of the tip of the toe. Yes. If it gets too hot, you let me know. Mm -hmm. This I'm kind of used to doing. <laughs> but yes, people squirming like crazy is completely normal. It's so bad, I can't. <laughs> and do you use a sand cap sometimes on the tips of the toes too? I do. You don't really have anything but we'll torture you too. <laughs> you can always also go in with the angel foot file. Okay, fine. Just, would... just to try it too. Yeah. That, we'll see. I'm gonna give it more <laughs> love. And how's this? Is it? Is that? Oh yeah. That's yeah. where I stabbed myself. Now, I have to show this. This is the this is the key combo, yeah, isn't it? It is. Oh, it's like bread and butter. It is. <laughs> okay. I so, really took it all off. Oh, yeah, do you start on the rough side? I do. And use force. Oh yeah. But again, that first one took pretty I much did. all of it off. Okay, one down. Perfect. Okay, next one. The steps. Nope, it's hot. So put the foot like that. Get some of the callus off there on. I'm sure you keep a very clean cart. Normally, after every tool you use, if yep. you're completely finished, you put it at the bottom of the trolley. Ah, uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you okay? I'll survive. I'll survive. I can't. <laughs> You're doing well. Uh, and it's yeah. all coming off. I did a pretty good job maintaining at home using the foot foam. I know this is the tough part. <laughs> Do you use one cap per foot? <laughs> Sorry? Do 
Do you use one cap per foot? No. It's, oh, that's it, easy. Yeah. <laughs> it has a really good grit to do both. Do if somebody has really there's a lot of callus, I'll go up pretty like full. Okay, let's do this. So because I don't have too much, you know, and some clients are very sensitive. You're right. Yep. Yeah. Is that hot? No. Nope. Okay. You're okay. These are okay. Okay, let me do the foot. Angel, angel feet <laughs> up it again. It's really, really smooth. It does, yeah. I think the soaking and the foot callus softener. The callus softener. The angel foot, angel feet, and the Dremel. It really makes it nice and smooth. Okay. Perfect. So you're going to place the rest down. Okay, turn off the water. Yep. The bubbles. The bubbles, and then you can pop the bag. <gasps> Push it in once. Yeah. And then you just... Yeah! That's it. Good job. Is this where I use a little brush? Yes. And then you scrub it out of my toes. <laughs> and so I like to... Oh, now that's a new yeah. service, so we flip this yes. one. And, and, how, and how about the towel itself? The towel, I... I flip it as well. So when I do both, I flip both so that when I down the feet that it's on a clean side. The fresh clean feet. Yes. And then you get a pat. Okay. Now? Now you're going to take the buffer. Yes. Yep. And then just buff the toes. What about these? Oh yeah, all toe separators. So does it does it go start it. here? Yeah. Oh. You're gonna feed them through. Now this feels weird for me. <laughs> you want to get them pretty far, yeah. Okay, or create as much far. separation. Yeah. Perfect. So now you're gonna take your first bottle, which is a base coat, okay, and. So. Just, How we can tell if it's a base coat and top coat is we label them at the bottom. So these are our nice, beautiful, let me turn off. These are the bottles. So we pour everything out, like you said, the base coat, top coat color. Yes. Um, what's the, the, we have a sticker on the bottom. Yes, so yeah, the yellow is the base coat and the green is the top coat. So this is first, the yellow is going to be the base? Yes. And now what do I have to do? <laughs> I've never done this before. <laughs> Oh gosh, okay. so now you're going to take, you're going to remove the base coat from one side. Yep. Yep. And now <laughs> we're going to swipe from the cuticle. Okay. <laughs> Did I go back in the bottle? Yes. Swipe on the one side. On the one side. Push back and then... I see you do this. I do. Does this mean I'm doing something? <laughs> it means you're doing something. Okay. Is there a polish? Oh, yeah, I'm seeing like a glossy look. Yes. Is it okay if I get it on the skin? Uh, no. Then you would take your... Oh god. Okay. There's like nothing on this thing. You gotta get more. Oh my That's god. That's a good thing though, because if you have too much, then it might leak onto the sides. Okay. I'm, so I'm... when you're wiping on the one side, you're using the side that you didn't wipe on. Oh. I've been wiping the one I've been wiping on. <laughs> That's why it doesn't. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, wipe it and use the side that I haven't wiped. That makes sense. This is, oh my gosh, this is so hard. I'm trying. That's good, yeah. So I always start from the center. Yeah. And then I make my way to one side, then the other side. Okay, wipe on one, one side. side. In the center, then work to the side. I swear there's nothing even on here. <laughs> it's there. It's so light. Mm hmm. That's good. And then just. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> nervous for the color because <laughs> you can already see me now yeah it's not gonna be pretty <laughs> that's okay to the one side then the other so normally for a regular nail you do it in three swipes so you do it in the center off to the side off to the other side okay so wait so one in the middle one off to the side one off to the other side, even it out, do two swipes, one, two, and then you cap it. Oh, red is the worst. <laughs> okay. Not horrible. Actually pretty good. Okay. How'd you get it all the way to the back? I did touch the <laughs> one spot. Hold on, let me get my little detail brush. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Nice. In okay. the second round, you can even get closer. Okay. And you just take your brush and you put it as close as you can and then you let the polish flow back and you kind of do the little pushing motion. But don't flare it out too much. Oh my god, this is so hard. How do I get it all the way to the side? That's impossible! It's possible! You can take your fingers and hold the toe so you separate <laughs> the skin back. <laughs> that, that, that was good. But there's no nail polish so on there. So you have to apply polish. <laughs> good. Slowly, yeah. Yeah, that's There's good. That's why. <laughs> that's actually no. It's not bad. It's really not bad. This is first coat. It's only gonna get better. Exactly. You want to clean? No, up? I'm not. Not yet. Not <laughs> okay, yet. You're not wait. yet. I'm gonna wait. Okay. Shimmy, shimmy, push. Yes, that was then good. Go to the side. Off to the side. I want to flare out the brush just a little bit to get to the side. Yeah, there you go. That was good. I am not going to cap it because I'm trying to get just all the way to the end. <laughs> Big nail needs more nail polish. Exactly. That's good, yeah. Now swipe it forward. Apply polish. <laughs> <laughs> I think my problem is I don't put enough polish. I get scared that it's going to be too much. Oh my god, it's so hard. I'd rather do any nail or wart surgery than this. This is. I'm trying to get it all the oh way to the gosh. end. So. I'm definitely doing way too many strokes. It's fine. I'm just get it. <laughs> A beautiful. Okay. So now you're gonna take your detail brush. Oh, now you're making me clean them up. Well, you have to. Where? Mm. Perfect. Oh my god. You know, this it's game. perfect. This is the better foot. Wash of confidence, right to the back. Wow. Oh, that's all over the skin on that one. That's <laughs> too confident. I love this color. Okay, now, yes, don't even say it, I know. Okay. So I'm getting my detail brush <laughs> and just get rid of all this. 
And this is just with acetone on it? Yes. How is this one looking? This one's not bad. With a second coat, or possibly third, to correct some minor minor issues, it's good. Oh my god. It dries too fast for okay, me. Okay, it's not working. We'll apply another layer. <laughs> I can't save it? No. Okay, we're gonna put top coat on that one. That's it, that's the best I'm gonna do it. That's the whole point. <laughs> okay, next one. Better. This foot, this foot's better? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I have more nail polish on the brush. Nice. <laughs> and a lot more on the skin, okay. That's overall better though. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. Oh my God, it is so hard. And I'm not even, cap in any of them. <laughs> I don't know how you can cap. The little toes on these ones are, are they're looking, they're yeah. looking cute. They're cute. You can keep these. Oh no, <laughs> I bled them. No. Okay, I'm not going to talk because when I talk, I just screw it up. Oops. Oh, it's bleeding. It's bleeding. <laughs> you see it moving. I can see it moving. It's going all up in the, oh, there's too much on this brush too. Okay, let me see this one. I think I did okay saving that. No, it bled. <laughs> so like, is there no hope when it bleeds? There's still hope. It's just, okay, watch. it's very hard. So keep putting it on the side, wiping it and adding more acetone. I was doing so well until I made that one bleed. Do we have to get it a Band-Aid? Yeah. Okay, top coat. Top coat is green, right? Yes. Okay, now what's same thing, same idea? Same idea. And this is what's gonna Okay. <laughs> okay. Um and for sure it's dry? Yep. I feel like I didn't put anything on. You did. I did? Yeah, I okay. see. Okay. So top coat you don't have to put a crazy amount. No. Okay. But this is where the shines come in. Now, honest question. How long are you going to wait before you remove all this nail polish? Next week. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to leave it for a week? Oh, yeah. I'll flaunt them. It's like the toe broke in my toes. I have to show <laughs> <laughs> You're like, guys, look. <laughs> They're going to say, I hope you didn't pay for that. <laughs> oh, this is a bad one. I, I'm really sorry about this. Toe. But the shine, it's fine. Look. It improved. Is that the truth? Okay, that one's... See? It changed. Yes. Yeah. If this was normal polish, how much harder would it be? Since Would it be just going all over the place and moving or no? Mm -hmm. It would be, huh? Yeah. It dries quicker. This one, you still have time to kind of move around. But with regular polish, it's it becomes very uh, clumpy. So you have to work really, really fast. This one, you don't have to work too fast. How's that? Is that's, that good? That's good. It's so shiny. Oops, too much, I know. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it is hard because you want to cover everything with the top coat. Yes. That is very hard. This is very tricky. Now, you still have to clean up even if the top coat gets on the skin? Yes. Oh, man, so hard. Oh, you still have to do the make the massage. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that's just insult to injury. After doing a horrible job. Now, how many top coats do we have to do? Just one. Just it, one? It, do you see it, it blood down? The top coat? What are you trying to say? I have to fix that? Yeah. Oh my god. Now you're just getting picky. Okay. Beautiful. Now, great. We'll get an up close look of those toes afterward. That was that was extremely difficult. But they're painted. They're Not painted. well, but they're painted. Perfect. So they're I take these out? Yes. 
and they're really dry. Oh uh, yeah, this this foot's dry. Okay. So now you're gonna take the daddy oil. So taking the daddy oil now. What with with the daddy oil? So now you're gonna dab just one drop on each toe around the cuticle area. <laughs> Your hands shaky. Actually, this is pretty steady. Look at that. Do I is this one good yet or wait, do so I now you can massage? Oh, yeah. I'm giving you the one finger massage. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's that's dry, huh? It's dry. And is that pretty amazing in terms of polish? It is. I still can't <laughs> I still can't believe it. Clients are like, You're putting on oil already? Like it's so dry. I'm like, oh is she dry. <laughs> She's nice and dry. So what's really nice is that the top coat air dries in one bit. Mm. And what does daddy oil do? It nourishes the cuticle because it has very highly penetrative oils. Mm -hmm. That's going to seep into the skin and nourish the cuticles and make it nice and shiny and soft. Okay. Now what? Now it's your uh, favorite part. It's, it's the massage. <laughs> okay, so now it's the massage part. Yes. Okay, so let's put your legs straight. Um, we'll put them nice and straight. Okay. Now you're using this Poto Expert now. Yeah. And how do you like it? I love it. Are you raising this up again for the feet or no? No. <laughs> you put a lot, but that's okay. <laughs> Okay, so so now we're gonna do effleurage, which what the heck? <laughs> which you're gliding your hands. <laughs> so you're <laughs> okay. Well, what? You kind of go around the foot. <laughs> oh, this is okay. so hard to explain. <laughs> okay, I saw you do like this, like weird. Yeah, lymphatic drainage. Okay, we'll do this one. I use my uh, thumbs and glide it up, all the way up, yes. So you kind of start on each yeah. part and glide it all the way up. There you go. When do you know when to stop? Until you get to the top. <laughs> do the guys tell you stop? No. <laughs> no, they don't. You keep going. <laughs> I'll keep going. Okay, oh, no. <laughs> okay now what? That was one. Yeah, so you can massage. Now you can work on the bottom, okay, do um, little circles. Yeah, the whole foot's very sensitive. You think this is worth people paying for this this pedicure that I did? <laughs> Honestly, yes, because they're gonna be like, oh my god, you because <laughs> you did it. That's yeah, so why they don't care of how it looks, they just <laughs> They'll like it because you did it. <laughs> so, you've trained students. Mm -hmm. You see how they are. How is how would you rank my overall pedicure skills today? <laughs> Honestly, like seven out of ten. It's really? Yeah. What, what was what was bad? It's and, the the polish. Okay, polish was bad. Okay, that's that's a given. Some of the cuticle work, but that over time you'll learn. Mm -hmm. Um, the massage was great actually. <laughs> awesome. And the grip, like the way you're holding, is really good because I am ticklish and having that grip makes me less ticklish. Like even during the whole service? Even the bottom. Okay. Like when you were doing the bottom, yep. it was really good because although I was kind of flinching, you still gripped the foot. <laughs> yeah. How okay. do you think you did? Get close up on the toes. <laughs> so. Love them. Yeah. Take them off next week. <laughs> you'll take them off next week. You love them so much, you'll take them off next week. I'll take them off next week. I want to take them off right after. <laughs> so, seven out of ten is not bad. Yeah, not bad. What do I need to improve on next time? <laughs> the polish. <laughs> <laughs> and the only way to get better is practice. It's practice. Oh my gosh. So, we've got lots of practice to do. So, when <laughs> you have a client who's needing polish, you, you call me over. I'll, I'll call you over. I'll start on that. What did I learn? I learned that you do an amazing 
you do amazing work. You have an oh. amazing skill because it is so difficult to be applying the polish, to work in the small space. I'm used to being rough and tough, yeah. uh, not making things pretty. Sorry for your short nails, but I think oh, it was yeah. great. <laughs> no, really respected you, Natalia. It was a lot of fun to do this. So everyone who's watching the video, don't be shy. Comment, subscribe, like the video. Yeah, we want to grow the YouTube channel for Nails by Tobro. We want to do a lot of other fun content. Other, yes, so if you have any other ideas what we should be doing here at the Nail Salon, let us know. We're off for one more month. Yes. So <laughs> unfortunately, yes, but we're gonna try to make the most of it and do something fun while we are here. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Tobro out.